Well, hello, welcome! As the holidays pass approaching, I'm sure there's a lot of opportunity where you get to open a bottle of champagne. So today, we talk, let's talk about some champagne safety. Yes, the bottle I'm holding my hand is actually a lethal weapon, if not used correctly. And I know a lot of people have fear when it comes to opening a bottle of champagne, so let's go over it today. When it comes to champagne, now most of the producers nowadays are very um, thoughtful as far as they now put a nice little pull tag on top. So the first thing you want to do is you find that pull tag, for example, right here. They already have it prepared for you. Gumbo is my lovely assistant. Would you take that away? No, no, you will not. Okay. And next thing you, next you notice is the cage around the cork. That is what is keeping this uh, wooden bullet away, uh, tame and um, away from danger. And the cage is uh, tied here at the end. And what we usually do is you wanted to have whatever your dominant hand, for me, the right hand, here firmly grip around the neck and your thumb on top of the cage and on top of the cork. This is what's stopping the cork from shooting out. Very important. And the next thing, once you have that secure, and once your thumb is on top, it never actually leaves the top. And once you have it secure, you simply just pull down the tap and turn it six times. It's always six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. At this point, this is considered a dangerous weapon because now the cage is loose and this cord, if it's not handled well, can be pressurized and can be pushed out and every year, on average, I think one person gets hurt from opening a bottle of champagne. It's a serious stuff, man. So we want to loosen the cage. I know a lot of time people will put this down and take away the cage. Pro the proper way to open champagne is to leave the cage on there. And the next thing you want to do is with your other hand, you want to hold on to the bottom of the bottle. And you could kind of, with your thumb still at the top, move your hand closer to where the cork is. Here's the thing. You're not pulling the cork out, but you're just turning it loose. And as you're turning it, you are actually pushing the cord back in. When I say that, I mean stopping it from coming out. So I'm slowly turning it. I'm not pulling on it. I just turned it. And as I start turning it, the natural pressure that's built inside the bottle will help push the cork out. I don't know if you can tell. Slowly, I'm actually pushing it pretty hard. And the cork is just naturally, I'm pushing it in, but the cord is naturally wanting to come out. And as you feel it comes, it gets really close there, you want to slow down even more and let it very gently. You see how I'm like pouring it, just pulling it just ever so slightly, very gently. Ah, that's it. You just want to hear a tiny little sizzle as described like a far, a non-spar. Doesn't quite smell like a non-spar. Actually, I wouldn't know how it smells like, but that is the key to opening a champagne safely. So hopefully you guys can enjoy lots of delicious bubble over the holiday season. And if you enjoy this video, and you want to learn more, please go on to www.angiesound.com. I have all my videos out there and all my other tips and blogs. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.